Hi all. So I'm just going to show you how to film these two face scrubbies. First I'll show you how to do the square one, then I'll show you how to do the round. And this stitch is known as several different stitches from what I gather. Um, I first knew it as the lemon peel stitch, but I believe it's also known as the moss stitch or the seed stitch. But it's a really simple stitch. All you need to know is how to do a single crochet and a double crochet in US terms and a double crochet and a triple crochet in UK terms and that's all it is to get this lovely texture that you see on here so I'm going to show you how to do this one first so all you need is a yarn, I'm using 100% mercenized cotton mine happens to be yarn in colours but anything will do I'm using a 3mm hook because this yarn is approximately four ply and a pair of scissors to cut your yarn at the end so let's just take this off find our end sometimes I find it quickly, other times it takes a little while there it is ok so we've got the Create a slip knot. Pop it on the needle. Now, I'm going to start this with chainless starts, so a foundation chain, um, because I don't like starting things with a chain if I can help it. Um, but you can start with a chain. Um, we're going to be doing 16 stitches. So if you're going to start with a chain, chain 17, and then you'll do the second row, which you'll see, see me explain how to do once I've done my chainless foundation chain start. Okay? So, with your slip knot on your needle, you're going to yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through. So it gives you your two to start. Um, should we come in a bit closer? So we're only going to make 16 of these because we're doing the chainless start so we don't need a turning chain. Okay. So the first stitch on this would be a single crochet. So that's what we're going to do first. So we're just going to go straight into this back loop. If I can get my hook into it I'm going to yarn over and pull through we now have two on here so we need to create the chain first so we're going to yarn over pull through just the one that's created your chain then yarn over pull through the two that's created our single crochet now the second stitch on this would be a double crochet so to do that we're going to need to yarn over and then we're going to go through the chain we just created so remember it has two legs there we're going to yarn over and pull back through then remember we need to do our chain first so yarn over and pull through one and then we're going to do our double crochet so yarn over pull through two helps if your yarn doesn't split yarn over and pull through the remaining two and that's a double crochet the next stitch we want to do is single crochet again so we're just going to go through that chain we just created yarn over pull through yarn over pull through one to create the chain then yarn over and pull through two to create our single crochet now we want a double crochet again and we're going to repeat this all along so you do one single crochet one double crochet or in UK terms that's one double crochet and one treble crochet I'm going to do that until we've got 16 stitches total, okay? So we're just doing our double crochet one here, so yarn over and create that chain and yarn over through two and yarn over through two. Just keep doing this until we've got the 16, okay? So 
So this is stitch 15, so which is a single crochet. And stitch 16 is a double crochet. And that's our 16 beginners. So we're just going to chain one, turn our work. We've worked that way, we're going to turn it so we're now working along that top row there now. Okay. Now it's really simple this, you want to do the opposite stitch than you did on that stitch last one. So we finished on a double crochet, so we're going to do a single crochet in there. And then the next one was a single crochet, so we're going to do a double crochet. And this is what's going to follow the pattern all the way along. So single crochet, so just go through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and go through two. And then a double crochet. So yarn over, go through your stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, go through two, yarn over and go through two. So the double crochets will always go on top of a single crochet. And the single crochets will always go on top of a double crochet. Now if you have an even number like this, you'll always start the row with a single crochet and end the row with a double crochet. So it's really quite simple and this is all the entire pattern is doing one single and one double and remember if that's UK terms you're doing one double and one treble I'm just going to repeat this for 11 rows so it's a really nice and simple it's a good task to take around with you on out and about if you're looking to get better at doing your things. Just take something little like this out and about and you won't have to worry about messing up too much because it's a really easy pattern that you don't really need to remember too much for. Okay, so we're on the last stitch which is a double crochet. So we've got to the end of that row so we're going to chain one and turn our work. Now we're just going to back the other way. So remember we finished on a double so we're going to go in a single and then a double. Now on this we are going into that first stitch to create the single and the chain one basically gets ignored for the whole way. Okay. So it doesn't count as a stitch. So remember it's a single crochet which is a UK double crochet on top of the double crochet which is a UK treble crochet and then a double crochet or a UK treble crochet on top of a single crochet or a UK double crochet. I hope I didn't just confuse you all there. <laughs> you just remember that you're always doing the opposite stitch than the one that was below it. You'll never go wrong. But if you can't remember what you did, always just do one double, one single, one double, one single, all the way along. Or rather, one single, one double is what you'd start with. Or one double and one treble. Last stitch again, always a double, and then chain one and turn around again. you see how that gorgeous texture is already building up so and it's the same on both sides so it creates that beautiful texture so I'll meet you back here after we've done 11 rows okay so this is the last row so this is the 11th row of this 
particular one and again we're still just doing the single crochet and double crochet or the double crochet and treble crochet for the UK and it works up really quickly you'll be flying through these before you know it and I think these give a really good interesting texture and it actually gives a little more friction for giving a nice good scrub on your face because every so often we do love a good exfoliate and the more texture there is in a scrubby the better so last single crochet and last double crochet or treble crochet UK ok so we're just going to go to chain one this time we're going to snip our yarn and pull that through give it a good tug so it's nice and secure and then it's come out a little, oh that's in so you're just going to want to weave in your ends so you want to come down through your stitch and then go that falls down backwards you just want to work backwards and forwards around a few times on both ends to weave them in and then once you're done you don't see where I've woven them in in fact I don't even know where I've woven them in <laughs> because um, it, it looks the same on both sides and it has this beautiful texture and it's really nice and soft but will give a really nice little grip and scrub to exfoliate so I think this is a fabulous little one to do to have a more scrubby scrubby if that makes any sense so there's your square one so check back soon for the round version <laughs>